set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the Elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price of siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Testing the mic, testing the mic. Okay, we're good. Hey kiddos, welcome back. Uh, so, I decided to redo this one. Not the one with Anton in it. Sokolov. Uh, but one I already did earlier. Um, I had to do Lady Boyle's last party. And I kind of killed someone. A lot. I, I got stressed out with uh, how everything was going. And I ended up killing about 13 people. So I was like, that's not going to look good. So I just decided, hey, just restart it. So now I'm resetting. Well, Wallace, I got to go see someone. All holdings and parliamentary votes now nope. fall to Lord Trevor Pendleton, who asks for respect during this time of mourning. There's a bone charm that we got to talk to. Talk to her. Corvo, can I tell you something? I have a secret retreat nearby that may come in handy if the city watch ever kicks in the doors. It's an abandoned apartment across the street from the bar. I don't think anyone else here knows about it, but I'm guessing I can trust you. The key is stashed under my bunk upstairs. If there's ever trouble, you can go there for safety. I know I will. Dunwall citizens, be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious offense and will be summarily punished by officers of the watch. Display your pride in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying times and preserving the timeless beauty of our fair city. You know, fair is such a strong word for Dunwall. Fair city. Uh. Nope. Move faster. What can I get rid of? I mean, damage gives you adrenaline. Well, I don't need adrenaline. Having your weapons out doesn't slow you. Now I move super fast. Oh, don't, don't do that yet. There you go. Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily. I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there in the city. Please, please leave 
have a candle for me? I it gets dark in here and I, I can't see my mother. I just want a candle. Where is Corvo? Wow, that is actually fairly accurate. How old is Emily in this right now? In in the soldered one, or the first one dishonored. This is not dishonored one. Huh. Hmm. Where is Pachanki? Or Petro? You know who I'm talking about. The big old science upgrade guy. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I'll find him later. Any collectibles? And this matter with my brothers has not been pleasant at all, so I do not wish to discuss it further. However, I really must thank you. I've heard that you found some other means of neutralizing them without taking their lives. Ingenious. Wherever they are, even if they are miserable, they are alive at least, so perhaps someday I will see them again. Aww. Thank you for getting me a live weeper. This is going to be invaluable to an old friend at the Academy of Natural Philosophy. As living plague specimens are quite difficult to procure. As humanely as possible. See, if you do good stuff, you get rewards that are good. Like, I already have six sleep darts. I can go for more, actually. You won't have to buy any darts. Which I think is good. Wait, how is Sokolov out for so long? I just choked him out for a few seconds. Also, where's the bone charm that lets you choke out people faster? I got it early in one of my games and it was wonderful. Also, the reason I record the, um, the stuff in here instead of just the individual levels is not because just for the story but because they're kind of checkpoints I guess because if I just do the levels and I keep messing up I can just restart the levels instead of having to go I already record it if I'm running out of time I'll just kill the target and go it's I have to find the smartest possible way Corvo. to do it Ooh. Wake up. where's my how do I turn off my mic to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. How do I pet you? Like, on the face. I want to pet you. Like, sit down and let me, like, let me comb your hair or something. Isn't Corvo like Emily's dad? In the... Because they did that... In the second Dishonor. Yep. Daddy. So the mom's the Empress. This is the drawing I made of you without your scary mask. Aw. Please let me pet you. That is the most adorable thing ever. What are you reading? Oh my god, that's more words than I have. So that is a big book. I hope that's not your homework. Attention Dunwall citizens. The ascent. I know it looks 
I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. What happened? When did it get so quiet? Oh, my headphones were turned down. Hello. Can't you see I'm about to bathe? Sorry. I understand. It was an accident. We have such a hard time maintaining privacy in such a crowded house. Yeah. Okay, bye. Wait, there's a coin of five in there. Okay, now I can... <laughs> I, I, uh, I made a joke about that last time I was here. It was like, Corvo shuts the door and he's like... He's like, wait, there's a coin of five in here. I'm gonna go take that real quick and then I'll leave. <laughs> like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, okay, I won't look. And then like five seconds later, he opens the door and he's like, I saw a coin of five! And then he like leaves again. Come here, Pedro. You require my unique, unique services. services. We can quickly return to my shop. Carrying more dart. I don't think there is one for carrying more darts. But I don't want one of these. I can just find them. I don't want to just throw money at upgrades. I'll keep what I have. Because none of the upgrades are what I want. It's this le lethal stuff. I don't need lethal stuff. The river rushed in when the barrier To think, Lord Pendleton I hope so, is the son of nobility. nobility. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. But one so steeped in courtly manners. This is stupid. It's not that I object to holding him hostage for a while, since he's been aiding the Lord Regent. But it's a shame. I always found him rather charming. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress. And the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself. is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry prey, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so far. We know you painted the portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. So, we can either... 
this rabble. But I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Reach's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Some rats found a bottle of King Street. Give him the King Street. King Street brandy? I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect with Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. That wasn't much as an interrogation as it was bribery. Oh, it scared You're me. The boil's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. So consider this an intermission. Bye, kiddos.